When you see how we design the Moving Access Aircraft Simulator, it helps to know what our goals were. The first goal was to design and build a simple motion flight simulator using common materials. Let's start by imagining a motion flight simulator. If the center of rotation is near the center of gravity, then it should take very little force to cause a lot of movement. For this reason, we decided to use no electric motors, no hydraulics, and no pneumatics. We still had plenty of other options to experiment with, though. As luck would have it, I live across the street from a large home improvement store. Max was built mostly from lumber, plumbing pipe, insulation foam, and various hardware from this store. Max had to be lightweight because I actually live uphill from the hardware store and I have to carry this stuff up the hill. Actually, the simulator had to be lightweight so we could load it in a truck and take it to air shows. Max was going mobile. Time was a real concern. We had about two months before the air show season started. You should always define a budget. Unfortunately, I didn't. I was more concerned about the time. The sooner I could finish, the more events we could go to and the more rides we could sell. If we charged people a few dollars to fly it, maybe we could break even by the end of the air show season. I feel like there should be more hands-on activities for people at air shows and other aviation events. Something more than just taking pictures. I wanted to create something people could climb in and really experience. So Max was designed to fit inside a U-Haul rental truck. The plan was to load it up, then drive it to an aviation event. And this was the real goal, to see hundreds of people having fun with this flight simulator. We could take it to air shows, fly-ins, airport pancake breakfasts, Young Eagles rallies, local aviation museums. There's some aviation event nearly every weekend all summer long. That was it. That's what we were trying to do. Those were the goals of this entire effort.